Hey guys, Quinn here. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're going to be walking through a care guide and a species profile for one of our favorite cichlids, the Firemouth Cichlid. I'm really excited to share this with you guys, but before we get into it, please hit that subscribe button if you have not done it already, and let's dive right in. Here is my firemouth cichlid in my 75 gallon aquarium in my classroom. Firemouth cichlids are from Central America and as you can see, they have some unique coloration. They have gray bodies with bright red along the bottom and their fins get some blue as well. As firemouths get older, the gray and reds become darker usually with the blue and the fins coming in more. Males will usually get longer trailers to their dorsal fins, making them fairly easy to identify when they're mature enough but it might be a bit difficult to distinguish between juveniles. Firemouth cichlids are very common in the hobby today as they are readily available at most big box stores like PetSmart and Petco. Usually they're on sale when they're only an inch or two in length, but they can grow up to six to seven inches for males and five to six inches for females. Firemouth cichlids are from Central America, so their ideal water parameters is 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, 6.5 to 8.0 pH, and relatively hard water. We usually recommend keeping your normal parameters consistent rather than chasing numbers, as the fluctuations seem to do more harm than good. And besides, most of these cichlids are tank bred and have become used to your local water parameters. They are a relatively hardy cichlid, just make sure you have consistent water parameters and you keep up with your water changes. I aim to keep nitrates below 20 to 40 parts per million, which keeps the fire mouth happy and healthy. Because they are from Central America and found in rivers and streams, an ideal tank setup would have some driftwood, rocks, and sand. Some plants could also work with them. The fire mouth loves to have territory to have as their own, so plenty of hiding places are recommended. Males will actually flare up their gills when stalking territory, but overall, they aren't super aggressive. There's some debate on this, but in our experience, fire mouse are not too aggressive if they have a large enough tank and hiding spots. I'd recommend a 40 gallon tank or larger when it comes to tank size. A 40 breeder with a pair would be a cool setup as well. But if you have a 55 gallon or larger, they could potentially fit with some other tank mates. For cichlid tank mates, I'd recommend similar size Central or South American cichlids. A few Central American options are the Jack Dempsey, the Convict, the Nicaraguan cichlid, or even the Salvini if the tank size is large enough. For South Americans, green tears would work well in most cases. The Severum would also be a great choice. The Electric Blue Acara. And many of the Geophagus species would work. Some larger tetras like the Colombian tetra or Denison barbs would make great tank mates as well. Silver dollars would be a great dither option to bring the fire mouth out of its territory more. This has worked well in my tank. Plecos also make a great choice. For feeding, high quality flakes and pellets are recommended with the occasional frozen bloodworms and brine shrimp to round out their diet.
Fire mounts are super easy to breed, which is another reason why they are so common. All you need is a male and a female and some flat surfaces for them to lay eggs. The eggs are adhesive and will hatch in a few days if the male fertilizes. Fire mouth cichlids have a few similar species and color variations that are somewhat rare, like the lemon or yellow fire mouth, or a similar species, the aloti cichlid. However, the fire mouth gets much more deep red color and less spotting along their bodies, so it's usually easy to tell the difference. Overall, the fire mouth cichlid is one of my all time favorite cichlids. It's an awesome choice for beginners getting into cichlids as they don't get too aggressive, they have great color, and they don't need a huge tank size as well. I would highly recommend them. So that does it for today's video. If you did find this video helpful, please consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.